Greetings, fellow enlightened agents. This is a post-action report for Operation SkyFi, which was executed by myself, Agent Sprockets, and Agent Frosty 11X. The goal of the operation was pretty modest. Uh, we just wanted to take down one portal before a resistance agent was able to achieve a 90-day Guardian medal from it. Now, normally I wouldn't go to this kind of effort to deny a medal, but this portal is out in the middle of nowhere near Alma, Kansas. Uh, I submitted and captured it and was working towards my own metal uh, before this agent went out of his way to target it right before I hit 90 days. So we decided to return the favor. The challenge was that at this location, data service is very hard to come by. When I first captured the portal, it took me quite a while to finish, and I haven't been able to reestablish a connection there since. The thing is, the portal is on the back side of a hill, which, by the way, we do have here in Kansas. And on the other side of the hill, I do get some minimal level of service. So after some thought, I decided to use my quadcopter to achieve aerial superiority for the mission. Uh, what we ended up doing is putting my phone in Wi-Fi hotspot mode, and then strapping it to the bottom of the quadcopter, and sending it up over the hill until it had a clear shot at the tower, at which point um, an agent on the ground tethered to it and took down the portal. Here is some video of our first attempt. On this first attempt, I was unable to acquire a signal, so I put on a fresh battery and tried again. This time, my phone whistled out an email notification tone in mid-flight, at which point I knew that I had data service. Sprockets and Frosty Lovenix tried furiously to take down the portal. Sprockets was able to get off a of Jarvis virus to complete the mission, and we headed back to the warmth of our homes. As we watch the action from the perspective of my phone, there are two lessons learned from this operation that I would like to share. First of all, my phone will not let me activate Wi-Fi hotspot mode if it does not have an active data connection. However, once it is activated, it will remain on even if I lose signal. So I had to activate it a few miles before we got to the portal, where I still had a signal in the car. The second thing is that my quadcopter setup uses a 2.4 GHz radio for control. I knew that there was a possibility that putting a strong 2.4 GHz Wi-Fi signal on board might cause interference, and it most definitely did. As the portal was being flipped, I started to lose control and immediately had the other agents turn off Wi-Fi on their devices so that I could bring it in for a controlled landing. In addition to, to a plain old crash, there was the possibility that the interference could have caused a flyaway scenario, in which case I probably would have lost both the phone and the quadcopter in some remote cow pasture. To guard against this, I enabled a mode in my flight controller called a geofence. If the quadcopter had moved more than 150 meters away from its launch point, the geofence would have activated autopilot mode immediately and returned back to its launch point using GPS navigation. Fortunately, I did not have to rely on this feature. So, if anyone else tries this, I would suggest getting a Wi-Fi device that operates at 5.8 GHz, or at least trying to mount the phone as far away from the receiver as possible. And there you have it. Stay green, my friends.